Uh, good morning, lovely students. So, um, uh, today we are going to complete the second stage of development of social psychology. Um, as uh, mentioned earlier, we uh, uh, mentioned that social psychology is the, um, a discipline and it's a process. So, um, uh, where is the branch from uh, psychology? But it is a separate discipline. Uh, and uh, uh, we today we are going to talk about three points that uh, already emerged or outlined by Galina and Rivea, and this was in 1990. Uh, these are three uh, points. Uh, let's uh, read uh, them uh, with each other and explain and give example for each uh, outline. Uh, the first one, uh, the second point, the uh, second point in the slide, uh, this is what I mean, but it is the first outline. The requirement concerning the solution of uh, socio-psychological problems which arose in various related sciences. Uh, that means uh, that in spite that we said that social psychology is a discipline, is a science, is a separate uh, science uh, emerged from uh, psychology, but it's at the same time uh, has a relation with other social sciences, with other sciences. Uh, uh, economics, politics, uh, uh, mental health, uh, 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 diseases. Uh, for example, if we uh, talk about what's going on in our days, uh, in our day lives these days, uh, as uh, we all the world is uh, facing a pandemic uh, called the uh, COVID-19. Uh, 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 give me a chance, please, to tell you what uh, I, I, I know, of course, because you are um, following the mass media. Uh, the CO is for Corona and VI for the virus and D for the disease and 19 because it's covered at, uh, in some stories. It's uh, November, others in December uh, 19, they discovered uh, that disease. And uh, they already, uh, if we found the... Uh, uh, in the uh, social media, or even in the traditional media, radio, TV, uh, and uh, newspapers, and so on, they are uh, uh, concerned with uh, the symptoms of this uh, uh, disease. Um, uh, they are giving us instructions how to take care of that disease, uh, um, and how. Uh, uh, and also, there is a, a, a campaign, uh, and, and an awareness campaign. Uh, has been already diffused and dispersed, uh, 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 diffused, sorry, and um, uh, spread it in all the uh, mass media, uh, new media and traditional media, uh, where they uh, refer to figures like expertise to, uh, to uh, give us awareness about this disease and also uh, the campaign that's uh, done by the actors uh, and the actors actresses and actors uh, uh, to um, uh, to tell the people to stay home because staying at home uh, will help too much not to spread this disease and uh, to take care of your beloved ones. Uh, so um, in um, the university, one of the universities, uh, uh, which is called the University of uh, British Columbia, there are uh, two health psychologists uh, called Anita DeLonghi's and uh, Nancy Sen. They have launched a new study that will explore or discover or uh, disclose the effects of coronavirus on our mental and physical health. What is the goal of their study? The goal of their study is uh, to track or to trigger people's changing psychological reaction to COVID-19. What they want to know, they want to know why some people engage in uh, recommended health behavior as washing hands while others do not. Uh, why people uh, engage in uh, uh, recommended uh, health behavior as to stay home uh, while others do not. How can people uh, successfully manage their fear and anxiety? How they can protect their loved ones? So uh, this is uh, an example of how we related uh, this uh, uh, um, this science, which is uh, we are studying or we are uh, tackling social psychology with another science. 
Uh, the second outline or the second point, which is uh, here mentioned in the slide, which is the third point, the third uh, uh, paragraph uh, in the slide, the processes involved in the separation of socio-psychological problems within the two parent disciplines, psychology and sociology. And uh, uh, we already uh, made an assignment, uh, all of you, and you already submitted it, and uh, some of you already make uh, 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 give an, us an examples, and you already presented it in front of us in the uh, in the lecture. Uh, what is the difference between sociology and social psychology? Uh, we should admit that both that sociology and social psychology are considered to be part of the social sciences. Sociology and social psychology are, mod, are more different than they are like. As they, there is similarities, but there are different. How? Sociology is a scientific study. And what is evaluating, making study of evaluating of the society. That means it includes patterns of social interaction, relationship with others, where in social life, businesses, and everywhere. While social psychology is also a scientific study, but related to how people are shaped and affected by their social environments. Let's give an example. If there is a, an economic decline or economic problem, how a sociologist will study this economic problem and how a social psychologist will study this economic problem. The sociologist will be interested in spending in the spending habits of a given population during an economic problem, while the social psychologist would be more interested in understanding how a person deals with the stress of an unstable economy or social changes or prejudice. If we move to the third outline, we will uh, read that in the, the first uh, uh, bullet, which is the third slide. We will read with each other, finally, the description of the first forms of independent socio-psychological knowledge. And this is already, we mentioned that, that uh, the definition and the history, uh, history of the emergence of social psychology as uh, it is uh, related to feelings, thoughts of individuals uh, uh, that have been affected by the uh, social uh, environment. Uh, in the mid of the 19th century, there are theories or approaches that appeared related to social psychology uh, and these are concerned with three terms many theories but they are concerned with three terms and we are going to mention what are these three terms people psychology mass psychology and the theory of instincts of social behavior today we are going to be concerned with people psychology How are these theories developed or emerged? These theories developed in the background of philosophical and descriptive traditions. Hence, their nature was speculate, speculative and abstract. Means what? That the people, okay, the theorists, the scholars, the theorists or the scholars who founded these theories have a background of philosophy. They are philosophers. And they started to be, to use their descriptive way or descriptive tradition by what? By they are observing the nature and making a summary. And this summary have been set into a theory and approach and presented to the people to understand what we mean by social psychology. As we mentioned, that we are tackling people's psychology in this lecture. 
So let's move to start read this slide and explain with each other. People psychology. People psychology developed as one of the first forms of socio-psychological theory. Where? In Germany. When? In the mid of the 19th century. Who are the pioneers? This is what we are going to read in the second uh, bullet. Most outstanding creators of people psychology were Moritz Lazarus and Hyman Stanthal. Both Lazarus and Stanthal published an article or a research in a, a journal called the journal People's Psychology and Linguistics. This is a journal, it's like a magazine where people publish their their, their uh, researches or their articles. And they published this article under the title of Introductory Thoughts on People's Psychology. Let's read the what I mentioned now in this, the third bullet in, this, in that slide. In 1859, the journal People's Psychology and Linguistic was founded in which the article by Lazarus and Stanhall entitled Introductory, Introductory Thoughts on People's Psychology was printed. What is the article is about? The article expressed the idea that the main force of history is the people, that the people are what? People who are the history of that world or the spirit of the whole, which can be seen in art. We can see people were in art, in religion, language, mices, customs. Customs means habits of the individuals and the customs related to the society etc. The individual consciousness is only its product, a link in a certain mental connection. That means that the people, how they behave or feel or think within the social context that they are in. How the people think if they are artists, for example. So they are the social context will be what? Art. How the people will behave in a church or in a mosque, because the social context is where is what is the mosque or so here is the religion, language. Okay, people is talking. If we are in a, in a in a family and we are gathering with each other, so what will be the link of us is the talking. What we are going to talk about, what is the event that is taking place, and so on and so. Uh, let's complete the uh, the theory uh, uh, of uh, the people's psychology. Uh, in this slide, I'm going to read for you the, uh, from the beginning. The task of social psychology was to perceive the psychological essence of the spirit of the people and discover the laws that guide the spiritual activity of the people. Uh, means that the social psychology has, has a role. And its role is what is to perceive, means to recognize the psychological uh, uh, spirit of the people, how the people uh, uh, psychologically think, and accordingly to disclose or to discover or to set the laws that guide uh, this spiritual activity of the people. Uh, now we're going to move to Wilhelm uh, Wandert. Wilhelm Wandert uh, developed also the people's psychology theory. Uh, let's give an, uh, uh, a bio about Wilhelm uh, Wandert. Wilhelm Wandert was a physician psychologist. Uh, sorry, Wilhelm Wandert was a physician, a physiologist, a philosopher, and professor. He is known as one of the uh, founders of modern psychology. So that means that from his background as a physician, a physiologist, a philosopher, and he is a professor and academic, uh, he founds the modern psychology. 
one that distinguished or um, uh, recognized the psychology as a science. And he started to differentiate between psychology and philosophy and biology. He was the first person to call himself a psychologist. He is widely regarded as the father of the experimental psychology. And he, he is the one who uh, started to make experiment psychology on people, of course. He marked psychology as an independent field of uh, We refer back again to the slide, uh, one that proposed that psychology consists of two parts, physiological and psychological. And if we stress on this uh, part, this refers to what? Refers to his background as a physician, physiologist, philosopher, and professor. The second part is people's psychology. Physiological psychology, in his view, in one view, was an introduction to what? To social psychology experimental discipline. Because we said what? He is the father of the experimental psychology um, in the world. But Experimentation is not useful for the study. Experimentation is not useful for the study of higher mental process, like what, like thinking and language. For the areas like language, mindset, customs, and art, people's psychology need to adopt other methods. If we refer back to the slide, to the last slide, we said that his experiments is not enough, okay, for uh, the mental process like languages and uh, thinking. Why? Because it needs to adapt methods, other methods. Does one that face criticizing? Yes. And this is, we will read it in the second line. The views proposed by Wendt, or the arguing uh, that Wendt did, is criticized by whom? By Vygotsky. We'll see how. People's psychology considered language, mices, customs, art, and religion as what? as objectives of study, as what? As objectives of study. That's mean when you're going to make a study related to people's psychology, you will put language, mices, customs, art, religion, etc. as what? Goals of your study. Vykostiki called these clots, called these clots or stat, Clots means set of ideology or collection of ideology. Ideology means thinking or what? Or crystals. We are completing reading the slide. The task of psychology he proposed was not to study these crystals, but the solution itself. Due to Vykostiki, that psychology is not to study this what this class of ideology or crystals this uh, is not uh, mean to study uh, language mices customs art and religion as a set of ideology or crystals but uh, it is concerned that it is psychology is concerned to find solution Also, he opposed Vykostiki. He opposed the thought that social psychology should study the mentality of collective personality. 
what is the personality, the mentality of the personality as a whole. He added, the personality of the individual is also social and is therefore an object of study in social psychology. That means that the personality of any one is related to social, something social, okay? And accordingly, it is a goal or it is an objective that we should be concerned with it in our study while we are studying social psychology. Finally, this is the final uh, slide related to people psychology as one of the uh, theories that uh, uh, emerged in the mid of the 19th century. Let's read this final slide with each other. Social psychology focuses on the mentality of the separate individual and collective psychology. On personal psychology under collective manifestation. For example, armies, church, and so on. That means social psychology will study the individual separately and then collective psychology means that we are going to see that this individual has been affected by what? By the society. And this is what we said from the beginning of the lectures. For example, if he is in the church, how he will be affected in uh, uh, his work. If he is, uh, for example, working in the field of teaching in a school or a professor in a uh, in a college or whatever, how is will be affected, how will be mentality, how he will think. Uh, manifestations means uh, to uh, get out, to describe, uh, to show out. Okay? Social psychology is the study of cultural and historical determination of mentality. Of course, when we are going to examine the individual, mentality, we will refer to what? To culture, from where this individual has been emerged, which culture he has been surrounded with, and accordingly the historical. So history and culture determines the mentality of uh, any person. Liv Vagastiki, uh, who already uh, criticized um, uh, Wandit uh, in his approach related to people psychology, uh, he emerged two questions, and these questions, two questions, are directly related to the development of social psychology. What are they? The higher mental functions, as we said that. Uh, uh, when we uh, mention the development done by uh, uh, by uh, Wandit, not the last uh, slide, the slide before, we said that his experimental is not enough for what for thinking and language. Why? Because there's arbitrary memory. Arbitrary memory means what? Random memory. Active, uh, active attention, to be active in uh, uh, paying attention to everything uh, while you are sitting in a classroom, for example, or in a place, in a meeting, in uh, uh, in a conference, and uh, whatsoever, church, uh, uh, mosque, and so on. Abstract thinking. Uh, what do we mean by abstract thinking? To uh, while you are. Uh, uh, um, you are attending a class or a lecture, you make a summary of uh, what uh, is going on. That means that you have a lot of information from the lecture, but you can make a synopsis or an uh, abstract or a summary for what uh, 
all over the uh, lecture is uh, either concerned with that one. And uh, volational and volational act, act or uh, you uh, means uh, voluntary act or uh, uh, an option act will uh, take place. This is what we mean by what? Higher mental functions. Higher mental functions like what? Like arbitrary memory means uh, random memory, active attention that you are paying well attention to what is going on in a lecture, in a conference, in a, in a speech, in a meeting, uh, in whatsoever. Uh, and then you can make an abstract thinking and overwhelming and a synopsis and a summary for what uh, is the been uh, uh, said in the lecture or in the meeting or in the conference. And uh, finally, you will have an act. This act would be voluntary or optional act. Could not be considered immediate functions of the brain. Roots of these functions lie in social conditions. These higher mental functions, which are mentioned in between brackets, the four things that are predatory memory, active attention, abstract thinking, and valuational act, could not be considered immediate function of the brain. It's not an immediate function of the brain. In the brain no but what the social condition or the social context that the individual is in it okay again the social context that you are in it if you are in a lecture if you are in a meeting if you are in a conference if you are in uh, uh, attending a speech in the mosque, in the church, uh, uh, speech related, for example, COVID-19, uh, uh, COVID uh, what is the higher mental functions that you will make a random memory and you will, there will be active attention, you will make a summary thinking and you will take option act or voluntary act. These higher mental functions are not the functions, the immediate function of the what of the brain, but what these roots of the this function lie in the social conditions, that the social condition, conditions here which will affect us how to behave. He expanded upon the idea of cultural historical determination of all mental process. That means that what that our culture and our background historical will uh, has a role in our mental process. And we will stop here for this uh, uh, lecture and hope that you uh, understand it. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact and uh, send your questions and uh, accordingly, uh, I will send the, the response.